Claim amounts for wind damage to insured homes are mutually independent random variables with common density function here, where X is the amount of a claim in thousands. Suppose three such claims will be made, find the expected value of the largest of the three claims. So let's call the three claims as X1, X2, and X3. And we are interested in the expected value of the largest or the maximum of them. So let Y be the maximum of these three. And uh, to find the expected value of Y, we need the PDF of Y and that will be most easily obtained by finding the CDF of Y. So the CDF of Y, let's call it big G of Y equals probability. Big Y is less than or equal to little y, but big Y is the maximum X1, X2, X3. That's less than or equal to little y. Now, when the maximum of three numbers is less than or equal to Y, it means each of them has to be less than or equal to Y. Uh, so x1 is less than or equal to y and x2 is less than or equal to y and x3 is less than or equal to y. And since uh, the claim amounts are independent, that was told in the beginning. So the and would just translate into a multiplication. So probability x1 less than or equal to y and x2 less than or equal to y and x3 less than or equal to y. So that's just big F of y, each of them. And the reason why we can use the same uh, symbol for each of them is that um, all the three, uh, all the claims have the same PDF. See, say uh, claim amounts are mutually independent and they have this common uh, density function. So mm, for each of them, uh, F, little f is the density function and therefore for each of them, big F is the CDF. So F of Y, F of Y, F of Y is just F of Y whole cube. Now, uh, this was big G of Y. So we are interested in the little g of Y to find the expected value. So um, but OK, uh, before finding little g of Y, you know, to find little g of Y, you have to take derivative of uh, the big G. And right now we have this expression for the big G, but we need uh, what this function is. Uh, so we haven't yet calculated the uh, big F. So the big F of Y is the probability of X is less than or equal to Y. Remember the big F is associated with the little f and the little f is the variable X. So that by definition is the integral from negative infinity to Y of the little f and uh, don't have to start negative infinity because negative infinity to one, it's zero and it just picks up values from one onwards. So you can go one to Y instead of negative infinity to Y and three over X four is the function, right? Three over X four. And then the integral of that, so you bring the X to the four up as X to the negative four. So the integral would be X to the negative three over negative three. And then this three is just outside. So when you substitute the limits, uh, you get one minus y to the negative three. So that is the big G, uh, or that, that is the big F and the big G we know was uh, the F of y whole cube. So F of y is one minus y to the negative three. So the big G will be one minus y to the negative three whole cube. And now we can find the little g by taking the derivative of the big G and the derivative of this function, use the power rule, bring the three down and then with this power two and then the chain rule, you have to take the derivative of the inside base. So you have a negative and then this y to the negative three will be negative y to the negative four. So the two negatives make it positive three y to the negative four. And then that's three times three is just nine. I'm writing the y to the negative four here and I'm opening up the square. So a minus b whole square is a square minus two times a b plus b square. And then the expected value of y, you know, is the integral from negative infinity to infinity of y g y. And 
so y times this so you don't have to again start from negative infinity you start from one so uh, the starting from one was for the x but look y is just the maximum of the three x's and if each of the x's starts from one the, uh, from one onwards then y will also start from one onwards okay so uh next we distribute we distribute everything so this is actually nine y to the negative three so it distributes on each of these three terms so we get these and then uh, the integral of each of them is just a simple power rule and then remember that when you put in infinity these negative powers so like y to the negative 2 is 1 over y squared so 1 over infinity squared is 0 similarly these two will be 0 as well when you put in the infinity and then you put in the lower limit it would be negative and it's already negative 9 halves so the negative of the lower limit will make it positive 9 halves and so on and so that ends up being 2.025 remember it was in thousands so it's uh, 2.02025 so it's 2.025 thousands, which means 2025, which is choice A.